Hey there, Bulldog Country. This week, we're talking with junior Amber Seidenkranz on the women's cross-country team about their success so far this season. For UMD, take another look at it. Sarah Kelly put it home, a freshman. He's a big young boy. Here's a chance in front. They score! Corey flipped it in there. I a follow went to the net. They combined to get Hi, I'm Amber Siding Crayons. I run for the women's cross country and track and field team, and I'm a biology major. The Bulldogs have three meets in the books this season, two of them being second place finishes, one being a first place finish. How do you assess that as a member of the team? What are your thoughts on that? Um, I think we're doing pretty good. I mean, this year, like, we only have three people from our returning national team from last year, so we knew it was going to be an adjustment year, and I think even for the second place finishes that we've had, I mean, they've been only, like, we only lost to Mary at GRIAC by two points, you know, which is really just, like, one extra person. So I think we've done pretty well for being in a transition year so far. And what have you guys been doing to prepare for the upcoming uh, NSIC region and conference meets? Um, we've been doing, well, we've been putting in a lot of hard work. We've been doing a lot of miles and we've been getting in the pool for some extra workouts. And we have Steven as our new weightlifter guide. So I think he's really been helping us too to kind of, you know, get our muscles and everything pumped up a little bit. And is that a big change from last year? Um, well, we lifted last year too, but the program is kind of different this year. So I think, I don't know if it's, I don't know anything about weightlifting, but I don't know if that's helping us or what. But. You're not running this year with your sister, Erica, after having done so for the <laughs> past two years. Yeah. Has that been a weird adjustment for you? What has changed? Um, well, it was like, I guess I've kind of already gone through it because like high school, like, you know, we ran together all years of high school and then she graduated and then, so I think it's kind of been a transition, like going back to like how it kind of was like my last two years of high school. But um, it's just kind of weird that we used to like live with each other and now she's not there. So that's probably the biggest adjustment. <laughs> and you made your second NCAA D2 National Cross Country Championship last season. Mm -hmm. Uh, with the Bulldogs. Does that make you even hungrier to get back there again this November? Yeah, for sure. I mean, going for, I mean, going all four years would be awesome. So, you know, like going the third year in a row, that's the next step. So going to Florida, I mean, I wouldn't complain about that. <laughs> as a junior, how have you seen yourself grow as a leader and runner while being on the team here? Um, I think I've just kind of, I mean, you come in as a freshman and you're just kind of like, even sophomore year, you're just kind of trying to figure out you know like how the team dynamics and like everything works so I think your junior year you kind of you know you've got some experience under your belt and so you're kind of ready to start helping those that are younger than you coming in to help them learn the ropes and everything so that they can eventually you know take it over when you're gone so is there anything you still want to accomplish and improve on in the future yeah, for sure. I would, I mean, it'd be awesome to be all American, you know, either next, like this year or hopefully next year for sure as a senior. And as a biology major here, how would you describe the benefits and the difficulties of being a student athlete? And do you have a secret in being able to? <laughs> Um, a benefit, I would say, well, being a student athlete, you get to register early. So definitely with the competitiveness of getting into some of those biology classes, that helps. Um, difficulties, I mean, obviously, biology is a tough, time-consuming major. So getting homework done on the buses and at meets and stuff is probably the secret, I guess, <laughs> is having self-discipline. <laughs> 